Ciao friends and welcome to a new video from SQL BI. In this video I want to play a bit with DAX in order to change the color of a card visual depending on the measure that a user decides to show. I created a field parameter that let's say users choose between sales amount, total cost, margin or a different set of measures and then I show the value of this field parameter inside a card. The next step is to change the color of the card depending on the selection of the field parameter. That requires me to understand which field parameter has been chosen by the user through a slicer. And of course, that requires a bit of DAX code with some attention to a couple of details. Besides, before we move to the end, in the second part of the article, I show the same technique using a calculation group because uh, you can choose uh, the measure to show in a card or in a matrix uh, through a field parameter or through a calculation group. Detecting the field parameter that has been selected by the user, that is kind of simple. Whereas uh, detecting the calculation item that the user chose uh, through a slicer, that proves to be a bit more challenging because uh, there are no easy way to obtain the value. But with some DAX code in the calculation item, we will be able to obtain the good, a good result. So let's start with the demo because this is a topic that is much easier to see than to explain by words. So let's get started. The starting point is uh, uh, this file that contains our usual contoso model. But the interesting part is that I created a, cal a field parameter. So going to modeling and then here I created a field parameter through fields. And this parameter let me choose what to show in the, uh, in the card. I, if I click on sales amount, I see the value of the sales amount. If I click on total cost, then I see the value of the total cost. And if I click on margin, then I see the margin. But what I want to obtain is something different. I want to show the value of the measure that the user decides to see. But I also want to change the color so that when I click on sales amount, for example, I see the value in black. With total cost, I want to show the value as red. And with margin, I choose a different color, let's say green. In order to do that, I can just change uh, the foreground color of uh, this uh, uh, visual uh, based on the measure. So I want to create a measure that returns the color depending on the selection that happened in the slicer. Now, the first and most important thing is whether I can detect it. Because when I click on the slicer, I apply a filter. That filter is going to change the measure, the measure that is shown, but I want to check whether I can intercept this value. And this is quite simple to do, because if we inspect the query that is being executed to fill the card, we just go to Optimizer, we launch Performance Analyzer, and we inspect the, the query that is being executed here, uh, we just copy the query, then I paste it in DAX Studio. And let's get rid of the second part that is not interesting. This is the query that is being executed. And you see that uh, it defines a filter that filter sales amount in the measure measure field by field parameter. And then it uses summarize column to apply the filter and then compute the sales amount. So the measure that is being computed is just the sales amount. But when running the query, it uh, applies a filter to the measure, measure field table. That is the measure containing the possible options I have for my measure. Uh, and I can inspect it in order to understand whether it is sales amount or not. So I just create a measure that grabs the selected value of the measure field. And depending on the value, it chooses a different color. Let's get started writing the code. So let me write a new measure. Uh, let's call it dynamic, dynamic color. And what I would like to write uh, is start with uh, the selection that I have created. So I can choose a, a variable current field. And it would be nice uh, here to write selected value of uh, uh, measure measure the thing is uh, if I try to run this this code uh, it's not going to work because uh, selected value requires using values of a measure measure now because of the way 
uh, field parameters are created, uh, they use uh, the group by feature and selected value values would not work. Whereas what I can always obtain is just the maximum value of the measure measure. Let me start returning just this value, return current field to see the result. And then I create another, uh, let's get some more real estate. Let me create another card where I just show the value of dynamic color. So instead of showing measure, I click on dynamic color. It shows, says, if I have no selection, it returns total cost, the maximum in alphabetical order. But if I click on the measure, you see that it returns the right measure. So the measure that is currently being selected. Now that I have the measure, I can just check with another variable. Uh, let's call it color. I just use a switch based on the select, no, on the current value, current field. If it is a sales amount, then we return black. If it is total cost, then we return red. And if it is margin, then it will return, let's say, green. And finally, I return the color. As it is now, it is kind of working. Because if I click on select sales amount, it returns black. For total cost, it returns red. For margin, it returns green. The thing is, if there is no selection, then it returns red. Because with no selection, the maximum of the measure becomes the total cost that corresponds to red. That's not the behavior that I want. I want a blank or I want something different to show that I want a default value. That happens when there is no selection, so I can just check if count rows of measure equals 1, then we return the color. Otherwise, we just return, let's say, black. That way, if there are no selection, oops, if there are no selection, I return black. Otherwise, for sales amount, it's black, total cost is red, and margin is green. Now that I have my measure, it's enough to build in the uh, card visual, I just go here and I change the color, the foreground color. Uh, I want a set of rules based on the value of my new measure, that is dynamic color. When it is black, then we choose a color that resembles black. When it is uh, uh, red, was the next one. We don't have any color that looks like red. Let's go for purple. And if it is green, we go for some color that resembles green. And we have no green, so let me choose one. Uh, something more greeny. Okay. Now you see that margin shows green, total cost becomes purple, sales amount becomes black, and if I don't click on anything, it remains black, showing the sales amount. So, job done, and I'm happy with that. I have been able, from inside uh, a measure, a measure that defines the color for a card, to detect which, calc which uh, field parameter has been selected. The only important thing is uh, that I cannot use a selected value here. I just want to show that to you. If I try to use selected value here, and then I run this code, I will get an error. And the error says that uh, in says dynamic color, column measure is part of composite key, but not all the columns of the composite key are included in the expression. That is due to the group by feature. If instead of selected value, I just use max, then everything is fine and my measure works nicely. Now, I can obtain the very same behavior using a calculation group rather than a field parameter. And if I do that, I still want to understand which calculation item was selected, because the calculation item will change the selected measure, replacing it with either the sales amount, the total cost, or the margin. The thing is, uh, there are no easy way to understand which calculation item has been applied to your measure. 
the application of a calculation item happens before the measure is, uh, is uh, being evaluated because it changes the way the measure is being computed. But I still want from inside my dynamic color measure to understand which calculation item has been applied. So let's see how it works. But the idea is that I base the measure not, no longer on uh, this uh, on this measure, but I do that on a different uh, on the calculation item. Probably the best thing that can we can do is duplicate the page. We get rid of this measure, we get rid of this, and this too. So we start with an empty page. <coughs> I have already created a measure calculation group. I can place it here, and it contains sales amount, total cost, and margin. And then I can place whatever measure I want here because it will be replaced by the calculation item. So I can just take the sales amount, drop it here. It shows the sales amount. It does the same if I click on sales amount, but as soon as I click on total cost, it shows 544 and for margin, it shows 690. You see, it does not change the label. That's a difference between the calculation group and field parameters. How does the measure calculation group work? Well, in order to do that, I can just uh, open tabular editor. And if we look at the measure calculation group, uh, let me script it. It contains three items, one that replaces whatever is being computed with the sales amount, another one that computes the total cost, and the third one that computes the margin. The thing is, uh, if uh, I want to change the color inside my dynamic color measure, I need to be able to understand through a technique like current field what is the calculation item that has been applied. And there are no tables that I can inspect. There is no current value for a calculation group. So I cannot get the current value of the calculation group. Therefore, I will need to use a different technique. So let me duplicate the measure. We can do that in tabular editor. I can just take dynamic color, copy, and then paste it. And let's call it dynamic color calculation group. Now, dynamic color calculation group right now contains the same code, and it's based on the maximum of measure measure. I cannot obtain the maximum of the calculation item at the calculation group, so I cannot get the current calculation item. But what I can do is create a helper table, a table that is useful only for my DAX code that contains the same names of the calculation items. And then in the calculation group here, I will add code that replaces the selected measure with the measure that I want, sales amount, total cost or margin. And it also applies a filter to this helper table in order to communicate to the, to the measure that is being computed, what is the selection that happened? It's easier to see in action than to explain. So let me create a new table first. Uh, we can do that. It's easier to do that in DAX Studio. Sorry, in DAX Studio, in uh, Power BI. I can just create a new table. Uh, let's call it a measure calculation group names. Can I just use all no blank row of measure measure? So I end up with a table that contains sales amount, total cost, and margin. Now, the important thing about this table is that I don't want to link it to any other table in the model. It's just a helper table that sits somewhere like here, and it's not connected in any way to the model. But I'm going to use it to apply a filter to the table so that that filter can be read from the underlying measure. So what I need to do is go back. OK, I need to refresh tabular editor. Go back here, and when I compute the sales amount, I want to compute calculate. Sales amount, and then I apply a filter on the measure calculation name, calculation group names measure to be sales amount. 
So the effect of this calculate is that now the sales amount is going to be computed with the filter applied. From inside sales amount, I will be able to read this information. Now, the thing is, I'm not actually interested in reading the value from inside sales amount. I want this behavior to be very specific for the measure that computes the color of the card. I already have the measure, so I can add a further condition that checks if is selected measure, and then I use the dynamic color calculation group. Why don't I don't have it here? I probably lost my dynamic color calculation group, so let me copy and paste it again. Dynamic color calculation group. So if uh, the selected measure is dynamic color calculation group, then I compute not the sales amount, but just the selected measure, applying a filter. Otherwise, if the selected measure is not my dynamic color, I can just compute the sales amount. And if I did everything correctly, from inside the selected measure that is dynamic color calculation group, I can inspect this column in order to understand which calculation item has been selected. So I can just copy this, go to dynamic color calculation group measure, and instead of computing max of measure measure, I can use now the selected value of my measure calculation group measure. The remaining part is the same, and this time, I don't need this count rows measure equal one. I can just return the color using black as the default. Black. And if I did everything correctly, I can now save it, go back to my model. Uh, this is not working, but I'm not interested. This is showing 1234. It's not changing in any way because I still need to go to my callout value and instead of using, not here, instead of using dynamic color, I'm going to use dynamic color calculation group. The return value is still the same. Now, if I click on sales amount, it shows black. Actually, I'm not seeing anything because I changed sales amount that returns black. So let me go back here and let me do the same for total cost i need to copy this part and compute not sales amount but total cost here for the measure that is being computed and also for the value that need to be sent down Let me save it, <clears throat> go here. Now, when I click on total cost, you see the color changes because total cost is being applied. The application of total cost means that uh, this code replaces uh, the sales amount that was, was being shown in the card. And when the selected measure is the color, we compute the dynamic color calculation group applying this condition. The application of the condition is then read from inside the dynamic color calculation group measure that reads the selected value of the helper table that I created, and based on that, it chooses the color. While we are here, let's go for the last step, that is, we do the same also for the margin, and we signal down that we are interested in the margin, and we compute the margin here. We save it, go back to our report, and now when I click on sales amount is black, total cost is red, and margin becomes green. So you see that we have used two different techniques, but the final result is nearly the same. If you need to work with uh, calculation groups, uh, then things are quite always a bit more intricate. You have a lot of flexibility, but you need to write a bit more code. So changing the color of a card visual is very simple if you use a field parameter. You just need to pay attention not to use selected value and rather use max and count rows to make sure that the values are correct. With calculation items, as I said, things are a bit more intricate, but
but it's not a hard problem. You can easily solve it through a hardware table. And if you think about that, this is also useful whenever you have measures that need to understand which calculation item has been selected. Because calculation item can change the code of the measure. But maybe you have code, other pieces of code or other measures that require an understanding about which calculation item has been applied. And by using a helper table, you can easily obtain this goal. Enjoy that! <laughs>